okay so now time to work on the editing part so whenever we click click on the edit button then we want to display that edit form and then we want to update the students data so for that i am gonna copy this whole component and then define a new edit dot svelte and let's paste that in here and what else do we need to change so we are going to receive a student pop as well along with the classes data so where did we implement that okay we have that in here so along with classes we are also going to receive that student data and so the get sections this get sections uh, method these are all going to be seen so instead of store we want to call the students dot update and okay, we also need to pass that student dot id and since we are also going to use the resource class so i think we have to use that dot data and what else do we have in here so okay so since we also need some initial values for these so we are gonna pass that from the student dot data dot name and let's use github copilot for these kind of tasks the class id is gonna be student dot data dot class id this section id is also gonna be student dot data dot section id and everything else is gonna be as usual so only the route here is going to be different and these all functions are going to behave just like it did in the create part and okay the submit is done use this to create okay instead of this what we can do is a student and pass that student dot data dot name so that we'll see that and we can remove this thing because this is not a store this is a simple variable javascript variable maybe we can do update the student data and everything else looks good so instead of save okay one more thing that i missed in here was the cancel button so when the user clicks on cancel then we want to redirect them to where do you want to redirect them we want to redirect them to students dot index and for the button the type is going to be submit and instead of save we want to display it as update and okay final thing is we need to make changes to the route so edit button here should point to the edit route so here let's replace that with the link the href is gonna be students dot edit and we are also gonna pass that student dot id and okay we have some issues in here uh, i don't know okay this link should be capitalized and have we imported this thing okay i think we have okay this should now work and we haven't implemented the edit and update part so let's go ahead and do that so edit we are going to receive the student data through root model binding and what do we need in here so just like the create we are going to need the classes data and we are going to render the student student slash edit page and we are also going to pass that classes data and along with that we also want to pass that student data so while we are here let's also implement the update and okay just like we have the store student request let's define that make request update student request and we can copy everything from here and we are also going to receive that student data through root model binding and let's go ahead and define the validations so here it's going to be auth 
check and more the validations okay this looks good and the only thing that is different here is required string email max 255 you need to students email except this student id so this here refer, refers to the request and since we are using the root model binding so we are going to get that student model from there and then we are passing in the id to this and should exist okay that's fine and this should now work and you also need to make sure that the code generated by copilot is accurate so you should double check it and make sure that everything looks good otherwise these uh, kind of issues uh, really take some time to debug and this is something that i have faced as well so make sure to double check it properly and okay this looks good so now what we can do is just like for the store method so we can do the same for the update as well so here instead of passing in the students create we can do student update and we want to redirect to students or index with student details updated successfully okay let's go ahead and give this thing a try and we'll fix some issues if there are any okay source link specifier in svelte package where is this coming from index.svelte okay i made some mis mistakes in here as well so in the edit page edit button students.edit link okay maybe we haven't imported we have that okay this was imported automatically so let's remove that and this should work okay let's try to edit this student if i click on edit then okay we have some errors in here let's try to debug it uncommon in promise cannot exist student before initialization so let's see are we passing that in okay we are passing that student data and okay the ordering matters in here this is something that i realized just now so what we are doing here is we are calling everything in here first so all the operations we are doing that in here and at the end we are defining the export related statement so we should do that first and only then we should do other operations because this thing what this uh svelte does um, to this internally is it's gonna define these variables and then only we can use now uh, the preferences for these so let's save this and let's try to reload it now okay link is not defined so since like we haven't imported that so let's import that from here okay maybe we can directly do that here okay now as you can see we have the name email address phone number and the class and section id are not being populated in here so we need to check that out student.data.class id and section id okay so the reason why this thing is not working is i try to debug it and as you can see we have these data been filled up but the class id and section id are empty in here so let's try to look into the student object because since we are passing that from the okay let's try to look into the student resource first and then you'll understand why is this thing not working so here we are passing that class and section so inside the class and then we can access the id so let's go ahead and do that so student.data.data dot class dot id and section dot id so that's how we can access the class id and section id so now if we go ahead and reload okay what's the problem in here each only traits over array like objects okay let's try to look into the student object and then we'll get an idea 
and for now I'm just going to remove these let's save it and okay this thing is now being displayed and we have the data inside data we have class and then id student.data.class.id let's try to access that let's save and reload okay we get the id of one but we are also getting an error about so it only iterates over at a live object so somewhere in edit dot spilt 16256 let's try to look into that 162 okay we have the each sections as section so this thing is throwing an error in here okay one thing that we need to fix here is initially the value of sections is so this is going to be undefined so that could be one of the issues so what i'm going to do is i'll just assign an empty array and since we are running in the asynchronous functions in here like the get sections so while this is running this value is undefined and the dom already gets rendered so while that is being rendered and while we are making that asynchronous call so the value of sections is undefined so that's the reason so i guess that's the reason why we are getting that error about the uh, for each only loops through at live objects so let's see if this thing fixes it i'll just save that and if we try to reload okay now as you can see we have the class id is already been selected but the section id is not so maybe we should look into that as well so we have the section id and okay so i tried looking into this and the solution here is to implement the selected attribute in here so this is something that all works uh, by default in view so if you are binding with to something so that already works uh, by default so since you are binding that with to the select with the form of section id so that would already be selected but in uh, svelte we have to implement that so we can do that by passing in selected and the condition here is going to be that if the section dot id is equal to student dot data dot so in this case it's section dot id and i was trying these out uh, behind the scenes so here as well we can either uh, do this uh, like passing in the section id as the actual value otherwise we can use these class and sections relationship as well so since we are already loading that so it won't really matter in this case so here as well section dot id so we are using the relationship and then accessing the id so let's save this and now try to try to reload and as you can see we have the class one and then section a being selected already so yeah this is how we implement it so now let's try to update the data so class six and section b let's update it and okay one issue that i noticed but i didn't implement that earlier is instead of post now we may, uh, we need to make a put request to the update so that's the default laravel behavior and class six or class five section b so we are editing the id2 so yeah let's update it and we should be redirected but we are not so i'm not really sure what's happening five four zero five not allowed okay this is something that was from the previous error okay okay we are getting some validation related errors so where's that coming from okay let's try to look into the validations i just implemented that using github copilot so that could be the issue required string required string required string required okay address we don't have the address we have phone number 
so name email phone number class id and we also have section id so let's do that as well and here it's going to be sections okay name email phone number class id and section id okay this should work work so let's try to update it once again and now we are redirected to the index page and class 5 section b okay this seems to work so this is done creating and editing is done in the next part we will be looking at deleting the records and further we will work on other stuff so one of the things that we need to implement later is implement the pagination so we'll look into that as well so that's it for this part and i'll see you guys in the next one